When it comes to installing software, especially on Linux and in the case of Raspberry Pi, which is a Debian-based distribution, thankfully, we have a convenient tool that makes managing software easy. It's called the APT package system. APT stands for Advanced Package Tool. It is essentially a management system for DPKG packages as seen with the extension asterisk.deb. It was designed to not only manage packages and updates, but to solve the main dependency issues when installing certain packages. In the early days of Linux, when trying to compile something from source, one would always be subject to the situation called dependency hell, where it was difficult to find and manage dependencies that were needed for projects. APT makes this process super easy for us and manages everything behind the scenes. We will get to see it in action in a little while. When installing software, there is one command we should always run first. That is sudo apt-get update. This updates all our apt-get package index files so that our system is up to date. Essentially, if software or package updates are available, running this command gets them for us. Another command you may see is sudo apt-get upgrade. This is used to install updates. When it is run, all packages will be upgraded. It's a good command to run to ensure that your system is up to date. If we are trying to install a specific software or package, we run sudo apt-get install and then the package name that we want to install. To remove the package, we would use sudo apt-get remove and the package name. Sometimes when we want to completely remove a package and all of its associated configuration files, essentially performing a clean uninstall, we can run sudo apt-get purge and the name of the package. Sometimes when we are installing or uninstalling packages, we run into an issue where we have broken dependencies. To fix this, we can run sudo apt-get-f install and this will fix the broken dependencies for us. Finally, downloading packages results in a lot of space being used up over time filling up our disk. To clean things out and free up space from downloads, we can run sudo apt-get clean. This should be run periodically to clean up our system. Now that we have described the APT ecosystem in general, Let's delve into some practical examples of how it is used. Time to see some of this in action.